Grady. He's he just a... wants to be included. No, he doesn't. He just wants to be annoying because it's fun he for him. He just wants to be loved. <sighs> this cat. What are you doing? Oh, I... look at him. I He's smart. <laughs> Uh, all right. Does he snore? Because two of my three snore. Sometimes he snores a little bit. Peggy and Simba both snore. He wheezes Daddy, not so much. Well, folks, it is that time of year. This is the show. This is the one. We are here at the end of another year of the worst year. Abs I mean, hands down, this one wins worst year. And as always, we have a little something special called the rectal spective and we'll get to that but first the stupid did not stop so we have as usual oh yeah it never stops we have all the stories this week let me um grady he's still going <laughs> i gotta put you down i i need both hands no. i need both hands to no. do the thing oh the betrayal no there you go. Do Dottie and Simba get along? Kind of. What are you doing? Do, they're, they're, they play when Dottie thinks nobody's looking. She'll play with him. Um, and they'll both sit on the bed now. So she like she's figured out he's not going anywhere and she better get on board, but she doesn't like it. Really? I need I'll that. kill you. I no, need... you can't have it. No. This oh, cat. now I shall die. This cat. All right. Let's begin. Intro. Can we get that intro going, please? By all means. Where are you off to, you little butthead? He's going to do something. Don't don't cause shit. While, what, are you, what are you doing back there? The I want attention. <sighs> I'm going to go sit on the amp. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And, of course, we've got a lot to unpack to start before we even get to the, no to the, the news this week, because it is, once again, it's not over yet. It ain't over till it's over. I mean, someone thinks it's over. Fuck the goat. <laughs> Fucking goat. The goat thinks it's over. It's out here posting Destiny's child lyrics and gloating at us. Fucking goat. <laughs> Yavla Bakken. I think I'm saying it right. The fucking Yavla goat. Um, has not burned yet. For those of you who are just joining us, we're keeping track of this goat that has... It is a battle between the people who erect the goat and the people who want to burn the goat. And for the last, oh, since the 1960s, every year, someone has tried to burn the goat. And sometimes it lives and sometimes it doesn't. The past four years, it's managed to survive. More time, usually it gets burned. More times than it stays up. But the past four years, it's persevered. And now it's gloating. It's got to go. Our faces in it. It's still up for a few days until just into the new year. They don't leave it up till 12th night? Yeah, it's 12th night. So they, okay. it's got to go down before then. It has to go for the sake of us all. This is our wicker man, okay? <laughs> there will be no harvest. Seriously, it's got to go. So that that it, this is a live stream right now. It's still there at 5.44 a.m. in Sweden. And it's so. floating. It's on Twitter posting the lyrics to Survivor by Destiny's Child. Literally, that <sighs> happened. Other things that happened, I can't really confirm this one. It looks something like happened. This popped up on Reddit. Remember the, uh, the Cookie Monster uh, communist mural? Yes. Um, well, it, that, that whole debacle, the guy fa the, the, the guy who didn't own the building hired an artist to build it and the person uh, to paint it. And the person who did own the building said no and painted over it. Well, that didn't exactly work out. 
because uh, the the white paint seems to have been cheap and has washed away. Oh no! So now here's what's left of it. Um, this 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 streaky thing. Although someone has managed to to write, "Fuck real Nate," because the guys the, the the guy who owns the building is named Nate. The guy who hired him to 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 paint it was fake Nate. The guy who painted over it was real Nate. The cookies united will never be defeated. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, good. Uh, this this is a saga. It's not over. It's not over. It's never over. All right. I expect to see that meme. This this is the future liberals want. I mean, I think everybody should get cookies. Yeah, I mean, I I wouldn't. I I'm would all for point. cookie socialism. <laughs> all right. So it's all right. Let's get to the actual news first this week. Um. What with air travel being air travel right now, you would expect people to be a little bit more on their best behavior. I would expect so many less people to be traveling, but they are. So I expect nothing of them. Well, then you won't be disappointed at our first story. Two passengers and a dog slide out of a moving plane at LaGuardia. Delta Is the flight. dog okay? The dog's fine. Delta flight 462 was delayed for hours after a male passenger forced a cabin door while the plane was taxiing. He and his companions slid their way out of the plane. Brian Plummer was sitting toward the back of Delta Airlines flight, ready to depart LaGuardia Airport when he, sa- uh, when he, when he said he noticed a man and woman with a large service dog nearby. The Atlanta-bound plane was not completely full, The man and the woman never did settle in, and as uh, Flight 462 began taxiing out the runway, the man stood up, ignoring a flight uh, attendant's order to sit down, said he had post-traumatic stress disorder. A short time later, Mr. Plummer said he felt the plane shudder to a stop. It was not immediately clear why, but the flight crew eventually told him the passengers would happen. The man forced open a cabin door, activating an emergency slide. Then he, his female companion, and their dog slid their way out of the plane. They were taken into custody a short time later. Charged with criminal mischief, a felony, and reckless endangerment, he also faces misdemeanor charge of criminal trespass, as does uh, Miss Greco. Um, Mr. Murdoch, his name is. Uh, They were released. Neither Mr. Murdoch nor Miss Greco could be reached Tuesday. The dog, an eighth-month female named Rain, who weighs in at 60 pounds, uh, is in shelter. Aw. Miss Greco expected to retrieve the dog. Um, okay. Oh, because they got arrested. Yeah, you don't get to, to do. They'll if look you at, get arrested, do they take your service dog? I never thought about that. What if you get sent to prison, but you need a service dog? I don't. Are you just fucked? You, you, you don't look. Yeah, what? That's right. What does PTSD have to do with what he did? I mean, he could have just freaked out and absolutely needed off the plane you would think the service dog would be there for that but the dog can't make him not pull the emergency door doubt that's the best i can think of that he just absolutely freaked the fuck out and had to be off the plane so why did she go with him yeah and why did the dog go with him well if it's a service dog they're gonna go where the human goes (laughs) they're not gonna slide down the slide this, this, I don't buy it. I don't buy it because she went too. She's just like, okay, I guess I'm leaving now. I guess this is what we're doing. If she, and look, if she had just sat in her seat, like going, oh my God, then she would not have been arrested. But she went, okay, are we doing this? We're going at the, yes. okay, we're going. So I have a doubt here. Yeah. Like if he was having some kind of serious fucking episode, I'm not going to say it's okay, but I could see where this would happen. But was she I feel like if he was having some kind of serious fucking episode, somebody would have noticed before he was jumping out of the plane. And and she would have, you know, I, nah, nah, this I, I'm I'm calling horse shit. Also, they're from Florida, so <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to realize they were at LaGuardia and just got angry. But look, you were leaving LaGuardia. Look, I don't want to profile people, but they're from Florida. So. 
Anyway, moving on. Wisconsin. Um, this is one of those moments, a confluence, as I've come to call them, when things happen, and they had to have happened for a reason, but it's baffling try to understand what led to what led to what. We just get at the end of the, this. This is like it's like fucking memento. We're working fucking backwards. This is and my we, problem with half the stories we do <laughs> is we don't know everything that led up to it. Oh, like well, it's like just reading the climax of the novel. Oh, well, this one is just brain wrapped in aluminum foil washes ashore on Wisconsin beach. Oh, God, look at the picture. Spooky, this has come early to Wisconsin this year as a washed up brain was discovered on a local beach. James Senda found what looked like a brain wrapped in aluminum foil and called police. Oh, it still has bits of the stem. I, when I first opened, I was so shocked. I, I didn't click what it was like. Did I just find a brain? Local media reported the brain was also accompanied by pink flowers and foreign money. Okay. Many expected the brain to be human, but Wisconsin Racine County Medical of Examiner's Office has confirmed it's not. Which begs the question, what kind of brain is it? What? Do they not know? They don't know yet. I guess they're going to have to test it to figure it out. I mean, it looks like a human brain. What happened? With what money the... and flowers. With money and flowers. Was wrapped like in tin for... burial thing? I don't know. I was not in Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> where's the, if it's a burial thing, where's the rest of it? Yeah. Why just the brain? What what, what happened to the rest of whoever or whatever it is? <laughs> It's it's like that. It's like the punchline of that old joke. Hey, with a pig like this, you don't eat it all at once. <laughs> See, I was thinking it reminds. Yes. Like, I feel like. Are you think or Pinky? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Brain. But where are we going to get a brain? Some flowers, money, and tinfoil this time of night, right? <sighs> oh, oh, Simba! Simba saw Greedy getting attention, and oh. he didn't want to be left out. Oh. Oh, it's a good scratch. Oh, I heard it's you were scratch. looking at another cat. That's not allowed. So I don't know. This is a thing. So someday you could just be walking down the beach and there's a brain in tinfoil with money. See, I don't, I gotta be honest. I don't understand people who pick up random shit they find on the beach. Right? Like Serious? We had a story last week about people picking up random shit. I'm from Long Island, and I grew up on Long Island in the 80s when what was washing up on the beaches was medical waste. Jess 90 says, it's brainwashing. Oh my God. Like, I don't, I don't pick up random shit I find on the beach. Don't do because that. Because the ocean is terrifying, and people like to dump our shit in it. <laughs> Well, Hi. moving right along, um, this kid is my hero. He's from New Zealand. Um, I want to point out again, uh, no, is this Manchester? Yes, it's not Manchester. It's New Zealand reporting on it, but this kid is my hero. He is my fucking hero. Did you ever know you were my hero? Because in the midst of all this fucked up year, some can rise above and that's what this kid did, and I, I'm proud of him. I'm proud. I am proud to be of the same species as this kid. 12-year-old has DJ equipment seized after rave in school toilet. Really? A 12-year-old <laughs> schoolboy had his DJ equipment confiscated after teachers busted him hosting a rave for fellow colleagues in the school bathroom. <laughs> Um, Kale Bell from Manchester held an impromptu rave in the school toilet at St. Anthony's Catholic College. According to his mom, Louise Bell, the boy sent out a Snapchat invite to all the boys from year eight. The rave included complimentary soft drinks and Cadbury twirls 
as Kale showed off his turntable skills with a DJ set. The party lasted a good 30 minutes before the party police arrived and broke it up, according to his mom. I'm sorry, he had DJ equipment and fucking refreshments? In the bathroom, Ray. According to the mom, Kale's speakers and lights have been seized. However, she has decided she will not be punishing him. Good. Good. According to the mom, the boy had been uh, up and ready for school earlier than usual <laughs> and raring to go, which she admitted wasn't normal for him. <laughs> the mom posted about her son antics on Facebook, and the post quickly went viral with many commenters deeming Kale a legend. Yes. Yeah. Champion. Fucking champion. How did nobody notice for 30 minutes is what I want to know. <laughs> like, even if they were, it was during dinner time, so nobody was really looking for the boys. Did you not hear it? <laughs> I'm just thinking of, of like a proper head mister, like that dude from the wall walking by the bathroom and hearing Darude Sandstorm. I, I am 100% picturing Minerva McGonagall. <laughs> like, with her robes, like, what is that racket? <laughs> How did he smuggle in the equipment and the fucking refreshments? He, I, the legend. This kid's amazing. I am, I. Like this kid is either going to live the most interesting life or it's all downhill from here. I want to do the, the like the bit at the end of Rudy for this kid. Cause like, fuck know, yeah. <laughs> like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lady Minchow, this rave is the shit. That's the other, like, do you remember what, like, junior high bathrooms were like? <laughs> Look, he's not the hero we need, but he's the hero we deserve. I guess that's fair. <laughs> I mean, my high school bathrooms, uh, they tore the doors off because we had a problem with people getting the shit kicked out of them in the bathrooms. So we weren't allowed to have doors. So you never would have away with this. Anyway. Do you remember music videos? Yeah. That was a thing in the 90s. What would remember when I used to show them on TV? Yeah, there was a whole TV channel. Like there used to be a reason to make a music video besides YouTube. Yeah, there was a whole television channel dedicated to music videos called MTV. One of now the it's popular dedicated to stupid hot people in hot tubs, I think. One of the mo more popular videos on the music television was by a band called Jane's Addiction. Jane's Addiction. And it was called Ben Caught Stealing. And if you've ever seen that video, that's the first thing you're thinking about. Oh no. With this story. Um, well, not that one. Ah, I blew the lead. Anyway. Woman hid items under shirt and pretended to be pregnant to steal from Oak Creek Meyer. While being questioned at Oak Creek Meyer, a woman told an employee she had to leave the store because she was pregnant and just went into labor. The woman was not carrying a child, but was instead concealing multiple items under her shirt in an attempt to shoplift from the store. The worker told her she didn't need medical attention. Because she was pregnant. Going into labor is a medical thing. Yeah, but she said she didn't need medical attention because she wasn't pregnant. <clears throat> Basically, she said, you lying. <clears throat> Which, I've worked a lot of retail in my days, and you're not allowed to do that. <clears throat> even if you know, for even if the pack the dozen eggs drops out of that pregnant belly and cracks on the floor... You're not allowed to be like, no, How? I saw you steal those eggs. Because she could still bring them to the register, pull them out, and pay for them. Like, I will point out, however, it's 2020 and none of us give a shit. Anymore. That's true. Everybody is out of fucks. Loss prevention staff attempted to stop the, the shoplifter who was described in the report as a woman in her mid-30s. She asked people for a ride, claiming her water just broke. Woman got into a silver vehicle with an unknown amount of merchandise concealed under her shirt. No additional information was immediately available. Did she at least like pour something on the floor to pretend? 
because you got to fucking commit to the bit. <laughs> she did not. She did not commit to the bit. Because that's not like a couple of drops. <sighs> I, I, that's I, a lot I, of fluid. I don't even, I. The audacity of this woman. <laughs> fucking hell. It's we. I've never seen a baby shaped like a cereal box before. <laughs> Is that a genetic condition? <laughs> Is the father SpongeBob? <laughs> All that did, did just the fuck it. This woman. <laughs> Good God. Oh, Ben caught stealing. All right. Um. Next up, Florida. I know we're zipping along, but we got we got we got ground to cover tonight. We have important business to get to. The best is yet to come. Um, this motherfucker, Okaloosa County, Florida. It's this. This sounds like an Okaloosa story. Um, Florida man sets truck on fire to give deputies something to do. Crusty Florida man is allegedly is arrested for allegedly setting his truck on fire Friday night. It was his own truck, at least. Kevin Robert Murphy, 28, is charged with arson, possession of methamphetamine, and possession of drug paraphernalia. You know, that would have given them something to do without you having to burn your own truck. <laughs> right? Oklahoma <laughs> you just turned yourself in for the mess. Okaloosa County Sheriff's Office said they were responded to reports of a loud boom on Mare Drive and found a Chevy Silverado truck fully engulfed in flames. When talking with Murphy, uh, Sheriff said he told deputies he poured gas onto the truck and set it on fire. He said he started the fire to give the Sheriff's Office something to do and give himself an extra Christmas present. What was the present? Was it jail? That's all you're getting. That That's what you get. Because, all right, here's what you did. You are on the drugs. Some of the most illegal drugs we have. The very illegal ones. The ones that cause a fucking bio, well, not biohazard, but a toxic hazard. Yeah. Just to make it. Yeah. You're on that drug. You have that drug in your pockets. You have now summoned the people whose job it is to make you stop the drugs and your ride is on fire and you are under the impression this is all good. I'm going to say maybe meth is not a drug you want to be on. I have said this for years. <clears throat> I don't, I've never heard an upside to meth and I'm confused at why it's a thing. Right? Because every time like you we... can kill yourself making it, mm -hmm. you can it kill us. Your teeth fall out, and makes you rip your own skin off, and then maybe you set your own truck on fire for lulls. Like what? What's the upside of this? We job? have never had an upside on this one. I, I don't like. I, it's, I don't see that. It's like you know what kind of like, high. Do you get to hang out with Elvis? What is the deal? This is the worst drug. This is the people. Have you ever have you ever worked a retail job and somebody comes in and like fucks up a display and just says, "There, I gave you something to do," because they think you get paid to slack off and that offends them for some reason. This is like that to the nth degree. That's uh, that that should be like a defense in court. Yeah. That. People used to do that shit when I was at Old Navy all the time. They'd fuck up a whole table of t-shirts and be like, now you have something to do. Speaking, well, speaking of giving uh, retail workers something to do. Just call my name. It's Mr. Plow. That name again is, I probably fucked it up. I don't care. Man steals mini snow plow. Crashes into Target. Wait, did you get it? What? He hit the target. He did. <laughs> they do put a big bullseye out there. <laughs> I mean, they're kind of asking for it. Look what look at how they're dressed. <laughs> a Long Island man 
has oh my been God, it's Bayshore. I got family there. Has been arrested after a Christmas morning crime spree that gave a new meaning to the term doorbuster. Happened shortly before 2 a.m. Suffolk County police said when Justin Shuffle stole a 2010 Bobcat skid loader, which is used to push snow from a Bayshore shop shopping center. He then crashed the mini snowplow through the front doors of a nearby Target. Once inside, authorities said Shuffle swiped a coat and several gift cards. Oh, honey. Before police caught him in the electronic section. All right. Let's pause right there. In case you don't understand how this works. If you walk into like a Walmart or a Target, you'll see this wall of gift cards and nobody's guarding them. They're not under lock and key. And you might think that's weird because that's essentially money right there, isn't it? Easy pickings. Yeah. They don't work until they get scanned. They're worthless little hunks of plastic. You have your 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 grand fucking plan. Your Ocean's Eleven moment, if you will, has resulted in so many criminal charges. It wasn't hard to trace your ass. You, you managed to put on a coat for three seconds until they ca caught you in the electronics section. Like, where were you going to go after that? Were you going to get away on the snowplow? Because it's in the cart return. Shuffle pled not guilty. <laughs> really? <laughs> One me. <laughs> I am excited to hear his defense. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what his crack legal team comes up with. Because <laughs> you know uh, they have cameras. This dude is his own lawyer. You know it. You fucking know this dude. What kind of lawyer do you get for free, your honor? Come on. I mean, you literally can get a lawyer for free. That is one of your rights. <laughs> they will give you one. <laughs> But that person's going to hear this and hear that you pled not guilty and they're not going to have a single rusty fuck for you. <laughs> oh, God. So what do we learn this week? We've learned maybe plan your heist. Do a little tiny Google search on the object of your heist. Because if it seems like easy, maybe you've missed a step. It seems too good to be true. It probably is. So the, the the initiative on him, I'll smash the door, got the plow, gotta get in, grab the cash, just a coat for fun. Like if the store was open, why did you have to smash through the door? <laughs> you know you can just walk in, right? Right. Could you just not resist because of the way you have prices? Fucking idiot. Um, we've, you do not need to give the cops something to do. No. I promise you. They're fine. Especially in fucking Florida. We've learned, um... <laughs> if, if, if you try to... I mean, if you claim you're pregnant, they can't stop you. But... I mean, Jesus, this actually did kind of work. I'm, I'm kind of upset about that. Yeah, like she got in the car and got away. Yeah, I'm a little upset. I'm honestly surprised the employee called her on it because in all <laughs> my years, we were not allowed. Like, you had to just pretend you believed whatever bullshit came out of their mouth. Um, we've learned not all heroes wear capes. Some of them throw raves in bathrooms. <laughs> That's amazing. We've learned, don't pick up stuff at the beach because, you know, maybe it's a quarter. Maybe it's a brain in aluminum foil. You don't know. Maybe it's a live grenade. Isn't that what it was last week? Yeah. yeah. Just leave shit at the beach at the beach. And finally, we've learned the slide is not for, it is not, your definition of emergency and the plane's definition of emergency are probably two fucking different things. Okay. 
at no time do you get to make the decision to pop the slide. It's not you're you're a passenger, not your job. You are not paid to make this call. And also, I feel like it comes up a lot like mental illness is a thing and that's mm -hmm. valid. Yeah. But just because you have a mental illness does not exempt you from existing in society right. and figuring out how to compensate for said mental illness to exist in society. Also, peer pressure. Don't go just because someone slid down the slide. I got to go do, do No, stay on the plane. Yeah, I got to tell you, if he did that, I'm not following him down the slide. <laughs> I'm sitting in my seat like, who? <sighs> who? Oh, that's crazy. I don't know anybody like that. But wait, we're not done. I got to tell y'all folks about a man I know. Not personally. Wish I did. Seems like a good dude. Um, This man's name... Very Pacheski. I apologize, Barry, if you're watching, which you probably aren't. Um, this dude has gone through all sorts of horse shit for you. For you at home. Um, he worked at Deadspin and uh, was the whole part of that whole gawker and then Gizmodo media thing. Um, until they blew Deadspin up. Um, yeah. Spanfellers and Herb. Because um, nobody wants to read about anything that's not sports, even though they were really we, successful yeah. writing about stuff that's not sports. Um, and so he and others, formerly from Deadspin, managed to come back together, and this year they founded Defector, which is a website. And if you've seen their their terms for hiring freelancers and paying for stories, they seem like they're on the ball. Um, it's subscription service, so mm -hmm. I, I consider you, I, I might implore you to maybe think about getting one because and what makes this man not it's not those things that make this man a hero although that 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 is laudable what makes him a hero is that each year Barry Pacheski goes through all of the ER records in the United States of America and compiles a list of all the things people have put in their holes ladies and gentlemen i bring to you the rectal spectrum. We're gonna we're, we're, we go through his list. We're not gonna read it word for word. You can go to Defector. I I I, I recommend you because said it, that and Simba dove off of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm out here. I know where the vet puts the thermometer. I'm done. We're not gonna read it for word for word, but you can go and check it out yourself. Um, and we're just gonna give you some of the highlights because these are amazing. Um, so, so where, where should we get and the, the picture is always beautiful. It's, it's a, it's Photoshop. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> where are we going to start here? All right. We, we, as always, objects are sorted by orifices working south. We're going to start with the ear. Um, toy sword. Like how big? Found a bead and placed it in his ear so he wouldn't lose it. I mean, you didn't lose it. Good job. Tweezers. Trying to trying to deal with the ear hair situation. Comb tooth. Tooth. Dog tooth. <laughs> Was experiencing pain in, in the ear, so rolled up pieces of paper to put inside it. Changed them out a few times when the last one became stuck in ear. Did that fix the problem? <laughs> Put a crayon in each ear in school. Crayon removed from right ear, but not from left. <laughs> um, placed BBs in earbuds. Forgot they were in there. Stuck the earbuds on and now has two BBs Lodged in ear. Why would what? You do that? Yeah, right. Oh, and this is the one that's going to make you all cringe. All right. Oh. Felt like something in there. Burning sensation. Flushed the ear, and a worm flushed out. Oh, that's some wrath of con shit. That's not okay. <laughs> Let's look at the nose. The last one. No, oh, yeah. the last one. 
airsoft pellet, piece of purple crayon, small rock, all same pieces. <laughs> It sounds like one of those things, what do you go to Walmart and pay for? Yeah. No. That's, not, that's not how the Walmart challenge works. Don't do that. Nose. Balloon. Oh. Fake diamond. Oh. Uh, quite a bit of tissue paper. Look, that at some point you got to stop shoving it in there. Just go to the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> if the nose lead is that bad... Mini flashlight because we Ooh. know exactly what the fuck happened there. Some, it would, I, I bet you, someone under the age of 13. And look what I can do. Look what I did. Oh, God. Yeah. Pom pom. <laughs> Googly eye. Sister's, <laughs> sister's hair. Two batteries. Oh. I, I guess your nose takes two double A's. Uh. <laughs> One up each nostril. Power the head. Let's look at the throat. Um, Metal straw. Disposable straw. Plastic <laughs> jail wrist. <laughs> Cat toy. <laughs> Cat toy. Piece of sock, a bee or wasp, <laughs> small pool ball. Oh, I was thinking pool, not pool. Oh, <laughs> electrical tape, glow stick, and my favorite, small American flag. <laughs> So I guess Donnie didn't really have COVID after all. Huh? <laughs> Penis. Here we go. Cross them, everybody. String of magnetic beads. Oof. No, they got to be connected. <laughs> Mom, I'm stuck to the fridge. Help. <laughs> Playing with phone and fell asleep. And when he woke up, his stylus was in his urethra. urethra. Sure. Injury occurred four days ago and didn't seek treatment. Sure. That's, oh. that's totally what happened. We absolutely believe you. You definitely didn't shove that stylus up there. <laughs> Why? Why would you be fucking around with your phone and go... You know... Hmm... Why? Maybe I don't want to have to pee in the middle of the night. Pen, pencil, paintbrush. So we've got all of the art craft you can do. <laughs> it's draw with your dick with Bob Ross. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Metal screw in his urethra to cause an erect. I'm not sure. How does that? Like, I've never had a penis. But as I understand it, that's not how they work. My friend, they have a little blue pill. It's not like you're plugging it from draining. Also, you're going to get tetanus. Lanyard. Oh! <gasps> yeah, that, that second to last one's been staring at me for a while. <laughs> Has had a marble in his penis for the past four years. Decided he needs it removed. Four years. <laughs> I have to assume that wasn't in their urethra because you wouldn't be able to pee. No, just it had to be like one of those things they put under the skin as a body mod or something. Maybe, maybe you don't know. But like, there's a conversation <clears throat> that occurs there with somebody. Honey, I think I might want to get my marble removed from my penis. <laughs> Are you sure? How it's been there four years? I mean, you know, we've got bills. Yeah. Um. I thought you named it by now. <laughs> Vagina. Small vibrator. Large vibrator. <laughs> Paper clips. That's not what Clippy's for. <laughs> That's not the kind of help Clippy offers. <laughs> Eyebrow pencil. Oh, no. Three bags of meth. Hi! <laughs> Welcome to our show. You're in our department now. Bullet 
And this is this is fucking killing me. Baby shoe. Oh, it's the bath bomb that's killing me. Yeah. And I will tell you why. <laughs> Those are made to dissolve. Yes. When moisture is applied. Yes. And they're full of stuff that should not be in your vagina. And they're enormous. There's just a whole there's a whole lot of reasons that yeah. that doesn't belong there. But Tara, who puts a shoe in their vagina, honestly? <laughs> Maybe the baby kicked her really hard. <laughs> did, did you miss the tin foil? Tin foil? Yeah. yeah. Patient, patient was intoxicated one one. four months ago. Four months ago and placed a crumble of tin foil inside <laughs> vagina. Oh, is that where I left that tin foil? Huh. <laughs> and now now the hole we all share. <laughs> is that like the church's song? That's right. It, no matter who you are, you got to wreck them. Put a pencil up, wreck them, and now not able to sit. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's that is how that works. You don't say. Patient reports inserting a deodorant spray can inside his rectum last night as he was constipated. How would that help? Just go buy some coal ace, man. <laughs> how, how would that help? You're already oh, up. oh, 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 in the channel, uh, Jen the Sleepy says, uh, John the Sleepy says, what an axehole. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to improve the smell. Apparently, somebody else was using a shampoo bottle. shampoo bottle in his rectum that he placed there because he thought he was constipated. I don't understand that correlation. Screwdriver in anus handle fell off. Whoa. Was intoxicated and is uncertain if she used her anal beads or not. Can't find them at home. None found in exam. I, I, wouldn't you know? How do you not know if there's something in your ass? Vibrator stuck in rectum. Vibrator is still on. Because <laughs> you're just sitting there in the ER. It's like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five inch dildo. Six inch dildo, seven inch dildo, ten inch dildo, toy shark. <laughs> <laughs> Left out apple. <laughs> like a whole apple? <laughs> baby shark. Was squatting in the shower when he got a small bottle stuck in his rectum. Uh huh, yeah. They, sure. don't, they, they don't believe these stories, people. <laughs> they know you just shoved it up there. They don't Full care. <laughs> Remote control! <laughs> Change the channel your goddamn self! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? What do you want to watch, baby? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Was he trying to mute his farts? <laughs> <laughs> Three weeks ago, he was drunk and put a light bulb up his rectum. And finally, at long last, I get to use the line. Either he's got a light bulb in there or his colon had a bright idea. <laughs> Weevil wobble toy. <laughs> Weevils wobble, but they get stuck in your ass. Was he hoping he wouldn't be able to fall down? <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> Christmas lights. Oh. It's festive for the ER. And finally, put dildo in rectum two days ago and was performing daily activities with it in place. When riding lawnmower, the dildo slid inside rectum completely. Uh, wow. Brady's judging you. Yeah, look at the cat. <laughs> the cat's like, oh my god. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Nobody's putting things in your butt. 
Humans are terrible. <laughs> Yes, we are, Grady. Yes, we are. That is amazing. Like, I get, I, I, I understand that some people have a kink, but you just, you try to live your normal life with a thing in a place. Retro K283 in the channel says, the, lawn, the Lawnmower Man porn parody took a dark turn. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you, Barry. We thank you. Our audience thanks you. America <laughs> thanks you. Please keep A doing. Nation salutes you. Please keep doing good work. Defector.com, everybody. Please think about subscribing. There, there. Good, good shit going on there. That's it for 2020, Tara. Apparently, if you don't have good shit going on, you can just get a shampoo bottle or a. Yeah. <laughs>